Hey folks, welcome to March 6, 2018. And I'm Chuck Shattuck, and I'd like to give you a little drive down what I call Google Drive. It's so easy and it's so fantastic that I just have to spend this time to share it with you because it is about collaboration. We can get together and collaborate. So let's take a drive down Google Drive real quick. All you have to do is to have a Gmail address, email address. That's it. All you have to do is have that. You click on Gmail. I'm going to show you from how to get there from your Gmail address inbox. I'm sure you may be familiar with it, different types. You may have different folders up here. But this is your Gmail account. There's several different ways to get there, but I refer to them as my favorite dots. Over here, you're going to see nine dots. And these are the apps. If you click on those nine dots, you can always go straight to Google Drive. Click on it, and you notice it loaded up in your browser window on a new folder. So your email is always there. Now we're into Google Drive. These are all my documents on my drive. All right. It's just a file. This is all that this is. It's a file cabinet where you store your documents in these folders that you're seeing up here and all over the place so once it loads and it may take a while if you've got a lot of goodies in there and you're doing a video like me it may take a while but in my drive is everything all right below there I can go to the computers that can be attached to I may have multiple around the house right or shared with me I'll click on it I usually go right to my drawer of recent Click on Recent. That's where you've been the last time that you were there. So that may help you out. These are the drawers that these files are kept in folders inside of. Okay. You've got My Drive drawer, Computer drawer, Shared With Me drawer, Recent, Google Photos. You can store your photos in here. Never, ever lose them. Uh, these you star for your favorite ones that you want to. You can go to trash, you can see the ones that you threw in the trash. And you can go to backups and do a different backup on the cloud if you wish. This is all free, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't cost anything to do it. Now I'm going to pop back over here and just go to this by the, real quick. Shared with me is really important because these files came from one of my other accounts that I have. Those, these files were in another address. So if you're in your Google Drive, I'll show you real quick how to use some of the uh, buttons, some of the features. All right. If you click on the blue button when you're in your Google Drive, and by the way, let me just take you right back. I'll just do an arrow back and show you just how easy it is to get to Google Drive from your Gmail address this one right here I'll tell you what I'm gonna close that down you go here you're in your folder your Gmail address nine dots click on them right down your drive little icon may be in a different spot just go right to your drive drive has got word documents it's got all kind of, I'm gonna show you what drive offers so I can go up here and click now as you can see you can create and keep and store PDFs, text documents, those are Word documents, spreadsheets like Excel spreadsheets. There's many different types, but Excel is the big one. You got presentations, those are slides. I use a lot. You can embed videos, you can embed pictures on them, and they're really cool. Photos, images, videos, and there's more. There's even more. I'm not going to cover all of them because we would get lost. But most folks, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you how to do a text document. So we're going to go back here. We're in. We're closing here. So you're typing and you're saying here, just got an email from somebody and I want to be able to save it. Nine dots. Boom. Go to Google Drive. You got to click it. Left mouse button. It'll open up for you. There's Google Drive. Always in another folder. You got to think of this as a big old file cabinet. And you can actually click on these folders in your file cabinet with your left mouse button. And you can drag it around the screen, dance with it, and put it anywhere you want to. It does not have to be, have all these folders up there. See? You can take it and put it down below if you like. 
one folder and put it down below but I I digress let us go ahead on and learn how to do and save uh, some information that you may have just got you're gonna click down here and go to text documents those are word documents if you're familiar with Microsoft uh, Word everybody does it so we're gonna go down here we're gonna say where is it we're gonna go oh we'll go right to here there docs new you can do documents spreadsheets and slides though and there's a whole bunch more as you'll see forms drawings maps you even have free Google websites to set up I'll, I can teach someone how to do that but we're gonna deal with Google Docs go right here and we're gonna be able to open up a new document and see what it's at it's in its own new folder so I can drag that folder and put it on my desk if I want to save it for later and finish it up but for now this is what we got I'm gonna go ahead and this arrow right over here will bring down the menu items see more items it's an untitled document right at the time you're gonna look over here follow that blue little icon untitled document I'm gonna do test All right you can call it anything you want you just hit the enter key now it's saved as test right and if you've ever used word you're gonna be familiar with this is means print this means undo this means redo paint size of it how much do you want to zoom it you can go in here and zoom down or up to 200 percent if you want that's how big it'll get right we can go back here use the undo and it'll take you back to where we were at at that zoom let's click right down here let's just do 100 percent that's what it looks like okay so then you got cho choices of text Titles are big, subtitles are a little smaller, headings are really big. These are different sizes and options you can choose from. Font, you can watch, go to any font you want, click on it and use it. This is the size of that font, and you just all kinds of sizes, all the way up to 96. I've taken it up to 105, but that's really big. That's when you want to do a page per letter, right? We know this means bold, this means italic, this means underline here you choose the text color some people get confused you see how these two folders are in here I can go to highlight or I can go to text text is what you type highlight is what's behind that text so let me go ahead and I'll just highlight that see I turned the color up there now watch I'm gonna do Chuck and Chuck is highlighted from behind in the color that I wanted I like this button it's called the undo you can just click it and fix whatever you thought you messed up right so this document here you can type uh, now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of all others before and after them so see and you can come down here and you can make this font as big as you want go down here I'll make it a 24 it's gonna take up the whole page you can go back take it right back to where it was you can try a different font size we'll try come for two there's that sort size you can increase it say boom up to 30 right take it back no I don't like that we'll go back to that all right so here is a really tricky one nice one lovely one if you wanted to make all of this whole statement something what it's called clickable you can do this link little thing here and paste a link right there so I can paste like HTTP people helping oh you got to be able to type right in the early mornings too but you can put in the website that you want it to go to right and it's going to say apply now you see how it turned blue now whenever you want are in here so you're working on this document you wanted to save that link now you could share it with anybody you can also do what you can change it you can make it let's say make it a title title is going to be bigger top right and then you can come over here look at all the options there's left center center right center and full script all the way so you can see what I'm saying on that it makes it that way now it's going to take it all to the right now it's going to put it all in the center of your page 
Now it's going to put it all to the left, okay? There you go. That's pretty easy. This one here is a magic one. It's plus one, you can add a comment. If you add a comment, it will pop up over here, and you can say da 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 for digital, digital chuck. I'm going to say hi from me, all right? And I can say comment. Now, the people that are in here that I can share with it, right? Because right over here is a magic button. Right now, this document is private only to me. All right, I'm not going to cover everything that this will do, but as you can see, you can file, which means that you can save it. You can make an, all kinds of options. Publish it to the web is the one I like to use because every document will be published right to the web, and you'll have an email, have a web address, so it will be a website type. All right, all kinds of options down here. You can print it, right? Edit, you just hover over these. These are all folders, just like these folders in this file cabinet. Every page you see is a big old file cabinet. All right. So then we've got insert. You can insert an image. So let me do this just to show you, run through how easy this is. And we'll uh, enter, enter, go down the page a little bit. And we're going to say insert. Let's insert an image. And I'm going to upload them upload that image from my computer your computer all right a window is going to pop up and it's going to allow me to say go over here open up this folder of mine and then i'm going to be able to come down here and i can put maybe my picture i'll just say hi we'll open up that image boom there it is uh, and enter you could pop, make click this image swipe over it go up to the top and in here, you can edit it also. See the link? You can go to the link. You can put your link in there, and that will make it clickable to take people to where they want to go. So I digress again. So let me back, say, take out all that goodies. I'm going to go all the way back to the get-go. I love this button because you can try this over and over and over again, and you can fix it, change it, and this is the fun part. You can go over to here to where it says share. You are private to you only right now. Click on that blue button that says share. And down here, what you can do, you can enter the names or email addresses. Here's what I do on most documents. When I have several different email addresses, I know this one is on bitcoinpowerteam at gmail.com. But I also have this one. It's called employeewatchllc at gmail. I want to be able to access this document from that email address. All right. I also have multiple other ones, but I'm only going to do a couple of them right now just to show you. I've got this one here. Uh, I can access this document because I am the owner of those email addresses. All right. So what I'll do is I'm, you can see over here, all of these people will be able to edit. Those are all me. If you've got other folks that you want to add into, say you have, uh, let me see what email I can come up with. How about Vance Baggio? If I was to put my friend Vance Baggio in there, and I did not want him to be able to edit, but I wanted him to be able to see what it was, I always give everybody the view, the eyeball. That means that they can look at it. You give them the pencil, that means they can edit the document. And you want to be able to collaborate together to do that. So on those, I'm just going to put can view, all right? Down here, I could actually send a note to Vance. Hey, Vance, check out this new page. Let's get together and talk about it. Da, 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 and then send it. And it would email that person. Right now, as you can see, it's shared with four people. And down here in the bottom right-hand corner is a little word that says advanced. It's hard to see sometimes. You just click on it one time, left mouse button. And over here, you're going to be able to see in here that we are sharing all this and this is the address that we the link we can send people to share it with you can send it gmail send it via google plus facebook twitter all of those places your document can show up on so i'm going to say done here all right all kinds of options up here you, i played around with them until i figured them all out all right so now we're going to take and make sure we go all the way back that is an introduction to Google Drive. Now, what happens when I want to save it? Right now, it's called test. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right up there, and I'm going to swipe it. I'm going to make it really big and large, and in charge, I'm going to make it like a 30, 
And oh man, that's not big enough for my liking. We'll go down here. We're gonna make it a 60. All those numbers big and in charge. Now, you notice I have never had to save anything. If I want, if I was to lose this right now, this document will be saved in my Google Drive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click outside the document, right? And the document is called test. The name of the document is test. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the folder. Oh God, I've lost it. No, there it is right there in your drive of your recent watch. Recent, there it is, there's your folder. Here's how you get it. Click on it, one time, left mouse button. See how it turns blue? Do a right mouse button on it now. Click the right mouse button and it should bring up this option. Preview, open all kinds of options that you have to be able to do this document. I say, if you want to, go over to here, open with Google Docs. Right back to where you were with that wonderful document in that folder that you called test. There it is. You cannot use an undo once you close it. Like I can't come in now and undo, undo, because I've typed nothing in it. While you are in it and you are typing something, type something, and I spelt it wrong. Oh, man, God bless America. So I would undo. See, it would take it away there because it was additional stuff. All right. But I can do this. I can close that folder. And as you notice, it's going to be in my drive right there. And it's going to be, I always go to recent because here, we can do this too, folks. You can go up here. And if it was a text document that you are looking for, this will bring up your text documents. There it is. Text document. And you can, you can choose which text document you can go last modify you can do what is the other one say it is right there boom test once again click on it right mouse button click on it it's going to give you the option to open with or even preview let's preview just for the heck of it preview there it is that's what it looks like right now if there were more pages you could use it down here but what we're going to do is we're going to go right back to the drive there we go so we're back to drive and all of this I'll close that down that's throw it not gone anywhere all of this is in your Gmail account whatever it is go to your lovely nine dots go to your drive and then in your drive go to your recent and you can check out all the recent things that you have done if you lost it but these are your drawers and these are your folders always on the side these are the folders right and here are all the drawers recent photos etc hope this does help folks google drive is a great thing did you notice i never had to save a nickel never hit save had never it's auto saved for you and you can access it from anywhere in the world as long as you can get to your gmail internet account access right so there you go that's a quick drive down google drive i'll go over here and i'm going to go click and sign out of it as you can see i have multiple accounts and I always try to connect all of them via email so that I can get gain access to a lot of them. Okay, back to that. That probably looks familiar to you. What I'll do is I'm going to close down this completely. There you go. That's my home. That's my my display, my laptop display. So hope this helps, folks. You can take a drive down Google Drive. Uh, it will be a whole lot of fun for sure. All righty. Talk to you later. I'm Chuck Shaduck. Bye for now.